Boys, yes, gameplay this year hasn't been that great. Well, I swear every week content just keeps getting better and better. Like this year, we're getting end game cards of people that in normal MLB the shows wouldn't have even been considered for lineups. There's just endless versatility you can have with your lineups right now. It's insane. Now, a lot of that is we are getting a lot of packs like this. We got a new juicy pack set two. And the base round and the rare round all have 99 overalls in them. So is that 899 overall potential players that you can have? And they're all pretty damn good. And also you'll notice right now that the pack's a flash sale for the next hour and a half, costing 25k stubs. You can get one of them. Once this flash sale expires, they'll come out with their normal price, which I'm not sure it'll be. Probably be around like 35, 40k, I guess. Let's start out with the base round. This is the card people have been most excited for. We got 99 Lubrock. 125 and 107 contact. Decent power for a Lubrock card, but of course, he's a great bunch teaser and he's got 99 speed, one of the fastest players of all time. Moving on, I don't know how this card's in the base route because he looks nuts. Is Retro Finest Ralph Kiner, 116 contact right, and then he's maxed out everything else. 125 contact left. 125 power both sides. Great fish and maxed out discipline. Like this card looks nuts. And that's the thing of why we have so much versatility this year is Retro Finest is juicing the hell out of players. Like we got two more cards that previous years, nobody would even consider for their lineups, but now they look up there with some of the best cards in the game. But Ralph Kiner is probably my choice right now for the base round. He looks good. Bruce Suter, in my opinion, is the worst. He only has a three pitch mix. So even though he's got 119 hits per nine, he doesn't get outlier anything like that. He's just not that good of an arm. Then finishing off the base round, we got a 99 overall retro finest, Michael Young, great contact. Decent power, a little bit of infield versatility. Solid card, but still, Ralph Kiner's my choice out of the base round. But then we move on to the rare round, and this is where decisions are going to get tough, because these are all good. We got Retro Finest Joe Torrey. He's one of those players I was talking about that most years, people wouldn't even consider him for a lineup. But now with the Retro Finest card series, he's got 120 and 121 contact, 117 and 115 power with 88 fielding at the catcher position. You cannot find this combo of hitting and fielding on just about any other card. You could argue he's the best catcher in the game right now, or at least that I can think of off the top of my head. But you can also put him at first and third too, so you do have some versatility. We got a Tom Seaver in a Reds uni when he threw no hitter, so of course, he's gonna have really good hits per nine at 118. Fastball, sinker, slider, 12-6 curve, change-up mix, and he does not have outlier, but still, this is a Tom Seaver card that actually might be usable. His cards usually are never that good. Bonus Wagner cards are always really fun just because you can put him anywhere. Shortstop, first, second, third, left, center, right. Only position you can't play is catcher and pitcher. But maxed out contact with 90 plus power both sides, 90 plus fielding and 97 speed. He does everything to lead and you can put him anywhere. So he's always a good option. And then finishing it off, we got Eddie Matthews. I love his left-handed swing, 110. 111 contact with maxed out power 83 fielding. He's always just a really good power bat in the middle of your lineup. And that's why this, this decision is so tough. I'm stuck between Eddie Matthews, Honus Wagner, and Joe Torrey for who I would take in the rare round. But we still got this flash sale for an hour and a half. So we're going to open it up 25k stubs. And we got a scatter import pack. 25k flash sale pack. And we get... The base round, just great. I'm gonna take Ralph Kiner. Ooh, selling out 23K. You don't lose any stubs, I like it. We also have the scouting report pack that contains one diamond equipment and one diamond live series player item. I have everything, but hopefully we can get one of the bigger diamonds in the game or bigger equipment. We get a glove worth 5K. That's fine, that's fine. We can finish it up here with a good, nope, that's gonna be purple lights. That's what base round? Is this J-Rod? I think it's J-Rod. Yep, it's J-Rod. So in total, we made about 8K from this pack. That's fine, moving on. We got new headliners to set 50. They didn't say anything about it being the last one like I suspected. So we still might have some going forward, but this Barry Larkin card is the best Barry Larkin we've ever gotten. 110 contact both sides, 112 power right, maxed out power versus lefties, 87 feeling, 91 speed, 
This is probably the best shortstop in the game that I can think of off the top of my head. He looks damn good. Like I actually really want to use this card. We're going to open a 25k headliner pack. See if I can pull him. This, come on, give me a diamond. Oh, and we, we get a diamond round, but it's all diamonds worth 2k. God damn it, dude. So that's a ton of new 99 overall players and we're not done. We have double XP for the next week for the rest of the feature program ending October 7th. So this will definitely help you out when it comes to completing the feature program if you haven't already. And to help you do that, we have a new franchise map, Legends of the Franchise West. Same as it has been, you'll get 40K for completing this. Got some rewards and it looks like there's no move specific missions, which always help. You complete it, you'll get a toolbox pack. Hopefully they update this soon. They haven't updated it in a while, but we will post the hidden rewards on YouTube later on tonight and TikTok. So be sure to follow that plus my Twitter so you can keep up with that. Same with mini seasons, cause we got new missions. If you win mini seasons, you get a juicy set one pack. So not even the new set two pack, kind of lame. Championship bundle has not changed all year then a couple other packs along the way but i want to see what the mystery missions are looks like there's four of them with them ending october 25th all rise so this is going to be some aaron judge related kind of cool hopefully we get some decent out of that we have our diamonds really forever zero out of ten that's also going to be a mystery pack a diamond mystery pack so it could be solid what just happened silver mystery pack that's not going to be good mount visit incoming that's not going to be good either. But once I figure out what these mystery missions are, I'll be sure to post them on Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok. So definitely be sure to follow all those once again. And I can't forget, we also got new Top Snow players to talk about as well. 95 overall, Matt Verling, really good contact, maxed out speed, could be a fun card to use. 95 overall, Team Keemer, good pitch mix. And then 95 overall, Glaber Torres, like his swing good hand stats but they also added a new tops now collection reward and i love it because it's 98 overall colton one who went deep three times earlier last week some you would not expect from colton one really good versus right-handed pitching with max style contact and 110 power plus he's an elite defender in 94 fielding so it could be a fun card so that is a lot to talk about we went over the new mini seasons all the new packs that came out headliners tops now double xp new conquest map starting next week though we got a new BR program coming out on Tuesday that's going to include a Retro Finest and Postseason Flashback player. We got September Monthly Awards coming on the 5th, so you can finally get that 99 Alfonso Soriano. And then it's not listed here, but we already know. Next Friday, we got a new featured program. I'm guessing we're going to be lining up towards a postseason style program, so it could be super fun. But let me know what you think of all today's new content. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.